I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I'm looking for the local group. Well, you found him. What can I do for you? The Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well... Chamberlain Dietrich said someone would come. We have him here, but if he's ready, I can't say. That miserable horse will let you saddle him and walk him around the courtyard, but as soon as someone sits on him, he goes completely wild. I'll handle it. If you think so. So, uh, so I don't think I can handle that horse. Ha! <laughs> Need some help then, do you? Well, yes. Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's arranged everything. What is it? Good health to you. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. Well, I want to treat the horse well too. But I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? I sing to him. You sing to him? Th what? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is grey Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's, uh, interesting. I know how it looks, but he likes it. Thank you, Basha. So, boy, want me to sing? <laughs> You're definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and... Maiden so fair Well, are you still gonna throw me off?
come to see us. Good day, Henry. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Be careful. That horse is a wild one. He won't endure a rider. He kept throwing me. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <clears throat> two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. Graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after him in such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So, what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Let's just say that when I got to the merchant, my task had only just begun. But you were able to handle it. Thank you so much, Henry. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But, but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right then. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But. It was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. 
And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. Hey, watch it. God be with you, Henry. What do you want here, lad? God save, Monsignor. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hanish of Lypa. Sir Hanish, hmm. 
And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. I'm sure Sir Hunnish told you what I'm doing here. He said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Valdensians. Dangerous heretics, one and all. How can I help you, then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in theory. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Kutenberg who told us of the heretics in Uschitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? Naturally, Father. Otherwise, Sahanish wouldn't have sent me. I see. It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable education. Some of their own offspring can hardly write their own names. Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. Once you've found something out, come back and see me. I'll do my best, Father. Are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ujitz a few times. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him, so he couldn't even put together a list. I see. I'm pleased to hear it. Who are these Valdensians? I've never heard of them. Really? Then you've either not been paying attention in church, or the parish priest in Ratai is too idle to read out the bishop's missive to the congregation. Um... Both possibilities are equally disturbing, but I'll allow you the benefit of the doubt, and assume it's the latter. But to answer your question, it's a heretical sect. I gathered that much, but what form does the heresy take? Look, boy... I don't have time right now to embark on theological disputation. Besides which, it's not something you need concern yourself with. Suffice it to say, they are heretics. Very well, Monsignor. Well, I'm not from Ujits exactly, so I don't know how well they'll accept me. That's good, because the last thing I need is one of these local good-for-nothings. I can't trust a single one of them. And they don't trust me either. But you're an ordinary lad with a likable face, if a bit simple-looking. You'll have a much better chance of learning their secrets. You flatter me, Monsignor. Very well, then. I'll get working on it, sir. God be with you, my son.
Good day to you. You showed him. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. <laughs> 